we are working on our journals now. We've had some guesses that maybe we would draw baby Jesus, but we're not going to draw the baby king today. We have to wait, wait, wait a little longer to draw him. Instead, we are going to draw not one presence, not two presents, but how many presents did the wise men bring to baby Jesus? Three presents. I know when we were home working in our journals, we drew a journal page that had one present on it. Don't draw yet. We're going to do, go ahead. We're going to do my turn first, then your turn, okay? I, I want to heal that in, the, um, in my bag. You did? Okay. Does everybody hold up your black crayons? No, Patty, she'll be right back. Okay, now watch me first. Now, I'm not going to make my one present, my first present, take up my whole space. I need to save room for three. Okay, so think about that. I'm going to make a little line down, a little line across, and a little line up, and a little line across. Did I use my whole page? No. No, I saved some space to make more presents. So let's see if you can make one present. Little line down, little line across, little line up, little line across. Yeah, you did. Good, Good job, guys. guys. That's it, Samantha. Good. All right. Callan. Good job. Just do one and don't fill it in yet. I'm going to show you what we're going to do in a minute. Colin, can you make your first present? Draw a box just like mine or a square. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now find some space on your page. Watch this, Griffin. Find some space on your page. We're going to do it again because this is gold, but now we need to draw frankincense. Little line, little line, little line, little line. Can you guys do that one more time? Go ahead, Samantha. See if you can do it again. I did it. Nice. It does look like a carrot. That would be a fun gift. Maybe to give to Rudolph? Or Frosty? Maybe to Dasher? Yep. Okay. One more time we have to do this. So we have gold, frankincense, and now we need to make myrrh. So we'll make another little line, little line, little line, little line. Your turn. It's like a pumpkin. We need to make three presents. Yeah. Nice. It looks like Reagan. Good job, Reagan. <laughs> nice job, Colin. It looks like Reagan. All right, Griffin's got three, Samantha's got three. Now, we're going to make our, our, our presents... <laughs> We're going to make our presents look fancy, Fisher, because baby Jesus was a king, for goodness sakes, right? You don't want to just throw him a brown box. Let's make it look fancy. So we're going to put some ribbon on our presents. You can go ahead and start and make three boxes. Now watch how I make a ribbon on my present. I'm going to start up at the top, 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 and make one little line down, right through the middle, and then one little line across, right through the middle. Can you do that? Yeah, good job. That's like a, a plus. It looks like a plus sign or maybe the letter T. A lowercase T. R. Let's do that. Let's do that again. Little line down. Little line across. We will in a minute. We're just doing the ribbon first, okay? Good job, Reagan. Can you make the little line across? Good, nice. Okay, now let's go to our last gift. Little line down, little line across. Your turn. I did it, I did it all right. Nice. Me too. No, it's just me. No, it's just me. You both did. Okay, now Anna was talking. Anna, can you finish your last present and make a ribbon? And now we need to make the bow to make it super fancy. So watch how I make a bow. This is so easy. What shape did I make? I saw the bow. Watch this. 
What shape did I make? Two circles right next to each other. And then I have to make the ribbon come down. I have to make two little lines. That's an easy bow. So Samantha, go to the top of your box and make two little circles. Okay, good job. Now, if you did it on one box, go to your next box or your next present and let's make another circle and a circle that's right beside it. And then you can make two little ribbons coming down. They're starting to look fancy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to go to my last present and I'm going to make one circle two circles right next to each other, right beside each other. Oh, and you even made the little ribbons go down, little lines. I made the ribbons go down. Very good. Okay, so when you're done with that, now it's time to really make them sparkle and shine. I want you, but before you do this, pick your favorite color. But you have to make your hand listen to you. Stay inside the lines. Make it look beautiful. Watch this. It takes a lot of hand control. Watch what I do. See how I'm staying inside the lines? Okay, go ahead and start with your first present. Make it look beautiful. Think of baby Jesus when you're coloring. And make sure you do your very, very best for him. Do coloring that is fit for a king. Show him that you care. I stayed inside the lines the best that I could. When you're done using one color, maybe you, for your next present, you want to change colors. I like pink, and I also like purple because those are Advent colors. We have I, those. I like pink and purple. I know. We have those on our Advent wreath with our Advent like candles. Purple. So I'm going to use purple, too. That reminds me of our hope candle. You did them all in blue? Yeah. I did them all in pink. All right. I got to finish my last one. I think I'm going to use, um, I'm going to think of St. Nicholas for this one. And I think I'm going to use red. No, not today. St. Nicholas was so kind to us today. I think I'm going to do red in honor of him. Do you paint? Uh, my red looks a lot like pink, doesn't it? Yeah. It's all right. It's pink. They're in the same color family. It's pink. pink. They're in the same color family. They are. They're cousins. Your journal between the lines when you are done with your coloring. I'm not 